Hello, loves. I'm going to have another opportunity to share with you my experience, knowledge, and wisdom during our ascension process. Yas! Why forgive? Why forgive? Why forgive? Why forgive someone? Like, why not hold hold a grudge until we die? Why not take revenge or have resentment towards someone? Like, why forgive? What's the point of forgiveness? Why do we forgive others? Why? And when you realize that this question has only one answer, then you realize, oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> like, whoosh. Right, in my perspective, this is how I see it, right? Through through my my perspective. And hopefully you can resonate with it or uh, you can find a way that makes sense in your way. Well, forgiveness, as I've, on the other video, you guys know, it's quiz time. Da -da. What two of the five elements of the ego or principles of the ego are forgiveness? That's right. Thought and attitude. Great job, right? It's an attitude towards we have a thought towards a thought that we have. For example, I dealt with uh, homosexuality in this lifetime, so I felt shame and guilt, right? And as you know, that is an emotion, a lower frequency vibration frequency. Shame and guilt are very low, which then I have in my mind, okay, shame and guilt, that's my attitude towards homosexuality. So when I express that, I'm having a low vibration experience all the time until I can vibrate at a higher frequency as in like now, since I was 25 years old, I was able to let out the guilt and the shame because I told my father, which was amazing. Uh, I love him so much. Uh, which, you know, my guilt and shame came in a form of courage. So it went from 20 to 200. I'm looking at the frequency emotional chart or emotion frequency chart. Emotional vibrational frequency chart. And then that courage, when I told him, went to acceptance. Then it went to 350. And then that acceptance went to love because my father and I still have a loving relationship. And that's 500. And now we're at joy and peace right we're kind of like at 540 so when i ex express my homosexuality it's at a high vibrational frequency meaning that that's the forgiveness part does that make sense like that's that's how you forgive something you take a lower we have to, in any situation we have a low frequency emotion and we just have to go through the stages to express it right uh, at a higher vibrational until we get there and so the lesson that I'm just going to tell you straight up, straight up, straight up, because I got your back. You got, you have my back. I have your back. And, you know, the only thing that one is constantly forgiving is oneself. Like that's point blank. Like from what I've learned, from what I've seen, you cannot, it's not about forgiving someone else. The most important thing is forgiving yourself for not understanding, for not knowing, for, not doing your best for uh, taking the long road. We, we're in a constant state of forgiveness and that's all we need to do is forgive ourselves. Now, we, if, you, if we're running on shame, guilt, apathy, grief, fear, desire, anger, pride, those are low vibrations. Even courage is low vibration because I didn't expect courage to be that. Neutrality is, which is kind of like a balance, is low vibration. After you go from neutrality is willingness, right? Willingness to change, willingness to forgive, right? So it's like, it takes time. Now, a lot of people, in the, in the example of, of my homosexuality or, or through my history of homosexuality, um, some people can say, oh, that's selfish of you. No, 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 it's not selfish. It's not selfish at all due to the fact that if I'm suffering or if I'm at a low vibration frequency, that's not me being my authentic self. If you know who you are, you know authentically we are rainbow beings of love and light. Even fifth dimension creatures, thought forms, even the 4D uh, astral plane where spirits are you know, still there, there are low vibration even though they're at a higher dimension due to consciousness. So you can still have a higher consciousness, but a low vibration. 
right? We always have to remember that. Um, that's where you get entangled. So a lot of people think that, oh, you're being selfish, right? It's like, you know, you don't need to tell your father or mother because like you're going to hurt them and, you know, all this. And that. it's a social, it's a social, they, we, for me, I thought that they were not going to accept me. My father was not going to accept me because we were brought up in a like, her, uh, like a very Mexican culture, like machismo, which is what it's called. Very like man, man of the house, man's do everything like man, like very hetero. And I wasn't that. So I was at a low vibration at his cost to make him happy. And it's like, I do love my dad. However, if he doesn't love me for my full, like my full authentic self, then excuse me, like it's your issue, not my issue. I love him for whatever reasons uh, he is because he's not perfect. No one's perfect. So loving everyone and showing that unconditional respect and, you know, openness as in the rainbow, then we can uh, move up the ladder or move up the, our frequency of energy to more of a expansion energy. And that's what this video is about as well. Um, I went on uh, Instagram and, you know, a lot of people are like doing great things with their life. They're like influencers. You know, it's all about the game, right? It's all about the game. And I forget that <laughs> that I'm playing a different game. And so I feel, you know, sometimes fear that you know people want me to be a certain way that i cannot be or don't want to achieve sometimes i fear sometimes i have like you know um acceptance problems uh right there's still very, that's very low that's 350 compared to love which love is 500 but it's more like um fear of like not living up to the expectation that people have of me as someone who is a fashionista, it's a model, it's, you know, someone who's very smart and stuff like that. And it does bring you down, right? It's kind of like a shame in a way. Um, so when I express that mode, you express shame in a low vibration. And so that's why you got to just let it go. And whoever is there for you, like you loves are there for me, I'm there for you. It's more of, a, of an acceptance, which is 350. And then we just have to rise up, talk about it, be like, okay, let's, let's make comedy out of our shame. Let's make comedy out of our fear. Let's reason with it is what it really is. When you create comedy out of your, out of your fear and shame and your apathy and your grief and your fear, We'll laugh about it, enjoy, love the moment. Then we'll create a, a loving, a joyful, and a peaceful way where then we can move up to the enlightenment. And that's pretty much the process. And I want you loves to remember the, remember that I'm here for you in that aspect. Um, I definitely have more examples. I just don't want this video to be longer. That one is the most. I have ones that are depression. I have some that are incompetent. I have some that are... Uh, cultural, political, I have a lot of experience uh, with with forgiveness and I can definitely share that with you. And that's what I've learned that you typically have to forgive yourself always because we are imperfect and we're always going to make mistakes. Being, being experiencing the ego, we're making a mistake because we're trying to transcend the ego. We're trying to transcend this world. And it is a part of integration to use the ego to get up there, right? You have to take that fear that the ego scared to die and release that into peace and then enlightenment and transcend. So it's all about forgiving oneself always. Start with yourself. Yes, it's your fault, but it's okay. And we'll just move from it. We'll just move from it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely leave them down below. Give us, uh, yeah, how do you feel about forgiveness? How do you go about forgiving people? Uh, do you agree on this? Do you have any questions on this? Just let me know. I will see you later. Bye.